Well, greetings, dear friends. So good we could spend a couple moments together again today. So I was uh, going through and, and just kind of seeing what we could use for a devotion today. And it got me thinking about how um, sometimes we just need to, to hang in there or, or keep our strength. And, and it brought me to a passage in uh, Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 that says this so let us not grow weary in doing what is right for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up well, i think this text from galatians uh, we hear in those words losing heart or or uh, faint in heart some some say i think that really does refer to giving up of our our mind in a lot of ways but the Holy Spirit tells us not to give up in our minds because if we hold on, then we will eventually reap good things. So I was thinking then, think about it like this. Think about Jesus. See, immediately after uh, he becomes baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit, he's led into the wilderness to be tested and tried by the devil. And he did not complain and become discouraged, become depressed. He did not think or speak in a negative way at all. We can't see, we can't find that. He didn't become confused about trying to figure out why this had happened to him. He just simply went through each test victoriously. And, and that reference uh, I, I used there, I. I Think of Luke 4, 1 through 13, if you want to go read that. But can you imagine then Jesus traveling around the country, talking with his disciples about how hard everything was? Can you picture him discussing how difficult the cross was going to be or how he dreaded the things ahead or how frustrated it was to have no roof over his head, no bed to sleep on at night? I think that would be pretty difficult to imagine, right? Because Jesus draws strength from God, from his Father. And he came out in victory at the end, remember? So in all of this, we have his Spirit. His Spirit that dwells in us, that strengthens us, that gets us through whatever we are facing we can handle anything that is given to us. Just the same way that Jesus did by being mentally prepared to be victorious through everything rather than simply just giving up on things. And that's what this passage says to us. So then, let us not grow weary in doing what is right. For we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. My friends, when life seems like a struggle and it, we, you feel like you just can't go on, have that mind of Christ, that victorious mind that you can get through anything. Because Christ loved us. He went into the wilderness, didn't complain. He didn't complain about the cross he was going to bear or about taking all of our sins because he knew in the end that he would have eternal life, that you and I would have eternal life. So that is the good news for today, that through it all, if we have a mind of victorious thinking, all things will be fine. Would you pray with me? Good and gracious God, continue to give us victorious minds, victorious thinking that we come to you in love, in forgiveness, that you are with us no matter what. And 
though we may be a sinful people, God, we seek your forgiveness in this time and every time. Forgive us of our sins. Lead us to a life of everlasting love, peace, and hope. Father God, we lift up those that are hurting today. Just continue to bless them. We continue to pray for our farmers as they begin to think about the coming seasons. We pray for those that seek warmth in these cold days. We pray for our children and parents and teachers and administrators as they still struggle through a pandemic school year. Continue to keep everyone safe and healthy, God. Wrap your arms around this community and around the world. May we know your love, your understanding, and your care. And God, I just ask that you hear the unspoken prayers of your people, those things that weigh heavy on their hearts. And may we find, sometimes in awkward silence, your small voice. We lift this all to you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for taking some time to be with me today. So great uh, that we have this chance to come together. I hope that you stay warm in these cold days, that you find comfort in God's word, comfort in being here in this time. Remember, this community of faith loves you. I love you, but most importantly, God loves you. Till we see each other again, take care. Bye for now.